So look where we are, Koenigsegg Factory! Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go inside, Let's shall head we? Let's inside, because yeah. Rich is freezing behind this camera. <laughs> Now we're magically inside. Not magically, Luke. The door opened and we walked in. <laughs> well, we didn't walk through it. You don't. Anyway. <laughs> this facility is absolutely insane. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, honestly, I, people would say that on a YouTube video, stand, stepping into a Koenigsegg factory, no matter what it looked like. Regardless, But yeah. seriously, this is, this is like the scale of this. That's an actual living grass or yeah, plant it's all real plant. And most of them are living. I mean, if you put that in a, any kind of wamban related facility, <laughs> they'd be dead. Everything would be dead. Yeah, everything would be dead. It should be a brown wall of mush <laughs> yeah. with the skull logo on so it. So we're not doing that no. in the barn. But this is pristine. And also, yeah. worth mentioning, I was here 16, 17 months ago. None of this existed. No. This, they've somehow built this enormous structure where they're building all their cars mm. within, I don't know, to, uh, a year or two periods. Yeah. So, crazy it's mental how yeah. fast it's like come on and it's is genuinely wild. stunning yeah and it match i suppose it in that way matches how stunning the cars are yeah so everything's got, all very nice and displayed you've got all the merchandise here you've got some oh, look at these fancy swim shorts they're actually really cool <laughs> they will not make them in my size but they look like they fit you though all my kids are slightly too old for these but if oh, i have babes. another baby this will be well the the actual onesies as well they're pretty cool you can get lego yescos there's some Legos up there, but I don't know if... Oh, yeah, no, that is, yeah. Yes goes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. And then the nice, fashionable club. Yeah, this will probably suit you this time. Yeah, but it's definitely not mine. Yeah. <laughs> it's your colour. My colour, not my size. <laughs> you can get skis, Jamira skis. Oh, God, yeah. It'll be good for Rich with his uh, little mm -hmm. skiing holiday. A bag. A bag. Man bag. And I actually have a few oh, items say, of these. The gilet is lovely. Yeah, you've got the that. The hoodies are... I don't have... This hoodie, but I've got a couple of the other hoodies, and uh, I'm going to see what nice. merch I can afford. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once we've finished up looking around here, yeah. should we uh, get on to the main events? Let's get on to the main events. Yeah. yeah. Look at this. This was the prototype Jamira uh, that they unveiled at Geneva. The Geneva 2020 show. Yeah. Car that obviously was the cancelled year of Geneva. Yeah. The infamous "The Show Must Go On" with Christian. Yeah. where he unveiled this car and everybody went bonkers. And of course, now it's an even more impressive thing because there's a V8 variant yeah. with the same electric motors and battery paired to it, producing 2,300 horsepower, Mental. while also having four seats and yeah. a ton of luggage space, enough for four big oh, suitcases, suitcases yeah, in yeah. the back. Yeah, we'd seen that the... Uh at Goodwood. At Goodwood. Yeah, we were looking at the ones actually putting them in because you can get them colour coded to the car, the suitcases, which is just, it's mental. I do like the colour combination. Do you prefer this one or the green and tan? I prefer the green and tan, yeah, so personally. I. Yeah, yeah. But, also, but you can guarantee that that will be a very regularly specced combo. Uh, yeah, I agree. So I think if I was going to have one, yeah. maybe, I would spec it in something it, yeah. a little bit different. Would you go crazy or would you go subtle? I'd probably still go fairly crazy. Oh yeah, you yeah, kind of yeah. have to, I suppose. Um, if you've got free reign with it, because, well, later on in the video, we'll show you the spec room that's in there and you've got a lot of options. And now on the configurator, you can actually put the roof box on it and you can yeah. configure it with the, with the roof box. So, which is mental. I wonder how expensive box. that option is. Oh yeah, but it doesn't show the price at the moment, so yeah. we'll see. You could probably, in your roof box, hold a, one of those pop-up tents so you can just sleep in that <laughs> yeah. and you don't need anything else. Just live in your Jamira. That's mental. Another thing that's mental is these doors. I'm six foot three and look at the size of it compared to me. Mm. It's massive. When we was at Goodwood, I took a video and it kind of came towards me. I was like, I'm going to check. This is a bit too big, actually. But look at that. But obviously it covers both sides. What else did we see when we was at Goodwood? <laughs> when we were at Goodwood. Onto some lovely hats here, yeah. which we all desire, I think. I was going well, to up everybody knows me for hats. I like these two. I quite like the old flat kind of Max Verstappen. I do like the ghost one and a bottle opener there. Yeah, that's cool, actually. The badges are cool. Yeah. And a cookie cutter. Did you get one of them from... I did get, Christmas, I have yeah. a cookie cutter I was gonna in say, the yeah. Christmas package. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, and a, a lovely, there is one through there, a, a lovely kind of... Like a throw? Yeah, a throw. Shall we uh, head towards this very special thing? Yes, let's look at this. There's a cool story behind this one. I'll let Tom explain it because he was telling me a little bit earlier. Yeah, so this is Christian von Koenigsegg's CCR, his personal car, car number 17 that they ever built. I actually don't know the year of this car, but I assume no. early 2000s. It is a really beautiful looking thing. 
in the flesh. Yeah. It looks brand new, but it's yeah. uh, however many not. years old. <laughs> yeah, however many years old. I think it must be at least 17 years, I would yeah, say. It can't be, so. can't be later than 2005. We were talking about the colours of these cars, and even though silver's quite an understated kind of subtle colour, it works really well because the cars kind of do the, the talking. Mm -hmm. I think they work really well in like these kind of specs. It's a it's definition of a bar of silver, isn't it, this thing? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. The interior, it just looks so complex. Manual, of course. Yep. And then you've got the split split wing as well. Timeless, as yeah. they say. Yeah, and then behind timeless. Richie, this is a Yesco Attack, of course. Yeah. A very nicely specced one. White, mm. green, yellow. Is there a bit of blue on it as well? Yes, yeah. there's obviously the uh, well, Swedish, Swedish flag yeah, colours. Yeah. Yeah. The Swedish flag colours. I do uh, like the hints of green. It's quite nice. Yeah, I do. I actually yeah. really like this spec. Yeah, so it's do very I. very nice. I like the white highlights on the carbon wheels. Oh, and I like oh, yeah. the uh, green, green calipers. Green calipers, <laughs> very nice, yeah. We even have... Uh, an engine here, and yeah. a powertrain that we yeah. can take a really close look at. Yeah, we'll go with the help of that. our trusty Scott. <laughs> we'll get Scott in in a second to uh, show you around that. So we were been talked through this engine earlier. Yeah, I picked up some can of it. Can remember some? <laughs> Scott probably picked up more because he's a smart man. Um, <laughs> he just absorbs knowledge of cars. From what I remember, this chunk here is is all is is literally just. Um, the gearbox. Yeah, that's the gearbox. gearbox. So there to there's the, the, gearbox, the gears yeah. and the clutches. Yeah. That's the diff. That's the diff. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's literally it. And of course the light speed transmission, mm -hmm. which yeah. means that you can instantly change gear yeah. between, you can change gear as fast between like if you're in first ninth or and ninth yeah. as you can between like second and third, it's third wild. and fourth, because it constantly has running, uh, spinning clutches. Yeah, well, yeah they're the solenoids yeah. there that activate the clutches. Yeah, and they have clutches multiple clutches activate at any one time for mm. multiple gears so that you can mm. quickly so it's not just one clutch yeah. no and it's crazy with you know as, as <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it's actually mental oh yeah earlier on yeah launching it <laughs> down the road out here <laughs> it's absolutely mental thing and yeah. I, that's one of the things i love about koenigsegg they're not just making a really powerful mm. but sort of technically normal in the way that it's structured car this is all new the way that they do things, is, I yeah. think it's fair to say, is very yeah, different yeah, to how yeah. any other manufacturer... Well, no one else has done that. Well, Nobody no. else has done this. Yeah, no. This is... No other car has this kind of tech in it. They just no. choose to do things in a completely <laughs> unique way. Yeah. And then they fabricate everything that they need to achieve this here in the factory. Yeah. yeah. More or less everything. Um, then to make it more complicated, they made <laughs> the option of making it manual as well. It, yeah. You know, they've made the stick and all the shifter mechanism and... and the, the gubbins and the, the programming to, you know, moving the stick in that location will activate, you know, whatever gear. Yeah. For the CC850? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. This is what you see in the CC850. It's, it's, it's just, yeah. Army. It, it's, it's great getting talked through it all. Yeah. yeah, really is like a technical marvel. Oh yeah, massively. And a aesthetic work of art. Yeah. It's cool that it's you can see it next to each other because it's so condensed. And yeah. like, how would all of this fit into a car mm -hmm. as a light as well as that? Yeah. It's crazy. And I think that's what sets Koenigsegg apart from most of mm. the other hypercar manufacturers is that yeah. they really, every nut and bolt is both a technical marvel and an artistic marvel. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Well, looking around, everything was so like intricate and there's so much detail that goes into mm. everything. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's you fascinating. You know it's good when you walk walking around <laughs> the factory with him and he's impressed by everything. And he's just there like, oh my God, look at that. Look yeah. At that. How have yeah, you done yeah. that? In terms of the engineering <laughs> side of things, there's that, the three cylinder engine over there as well. Oh, we'll, we'll yeah, everything's brand that. new on that and you know, it doesn't have mm. cams in it. You know, it's got the three valve thing and you know, look, getting to see that and look around <laughs> it is crazy. Yeah. It's really, really. This is why we've got Scott, so it makes our videos look like we're well he educated makes, and know what we're yeah, doing. Yeah, it makes us look like we're car smart. <laughs> yeah. Should we go have a we look at the other one? The little three cylinder, I say, is the package well, on it, it's crazy. Yeah. You know, it's just a three cylinder engine that the, you know, Gamera obviously started off with before they yeah. managed to shoe on a V8 into it somehow. <laughs> you know, little, little three cylinder twin yeah. turbo setup. Um, you know, free valve, what we were saying, it doesn't have camshafts, it's got actuators on each valve. Mm. But it's a, a crazy bit of kit. Yeah. Um, you know, even looking around it, all the detailing on it. Like how it's all set up as well. Oh, like yeah, it's absolutely it's wild. You know, it's all dry sumped. It's, yeah. you know, it's the, the, the spec on the thing's absolutely crazy. It's just, you know, all looking around it. And, and obviously having it on a stand for us just so, to look at. It's so compact. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, it's, it fits literally. As we were talking about earlier with the luggage and everything, it has to fit inside 
there. Yeah, it's very special. But just seeing it in person out of an actual car is wild. It's amazing that they, they've put it on a stand for everyone to, you know, see. Yeah. I mean, anyone can come in here and, you know, I mean, some of this stuff's brand new. You know, other people aren't doing it. You could come in here and, you know, not copy it, but, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Ferrari or someone else would, you know, have curtains around this and <laughs> yeah you, know, you can't look at this you know the experience as you know you and Tom have said yeah, yeah. the experience here today has been crazy yeah, you know the guys couldn't be any, any more accommodating towards yeah, like yeah. just letting us look around and everything yeah. it's been meant by rights we shouldn't like you know I shouldn't be here, <laughs> it feels know, like it you haven't felt like that for more than one no second. no no you know it's uh, it feels like you've been walking around with your friends that you've known for a while yeah and you can literally look around everything so in there is where they manufacture the engines and they do all of the details and stuff from that there weren't a lot in there for us to look at because a lot of the engines have gone over to be put into the cars to be built yes go engine here car there the ccr so in there is where you can spec these cars which is uh, very exciting so we'll go have a look we're not going to do a spec today unfortunately because we don't have much time left but we'll just kind of show you what it looks like and we'll see who's in here <laughs> This is cool, with the shield and the girl. And look who we have here. <laughs> We've got James and the guys who took us around. But yeah, thank you so much for taking us around, by the way. Yeah, it was pleasure. absolutely yeah, brilliant. Pleasure. Yeah, it's so fascinating to see just everything as well. So we've got the full spec bay in here uh, with a huge screen, which is wild. And we were told that it's not actually a projector. It's a full screen. It literally feels like you're going into somebody's lounge. So it's very nice and comfortable. And then you've obviously got all the colours and stuff here. An absolute, <laughs> just casually there. Yeah, hopefully we'll be back here with a Tom Speck in a, another car. And then the piece of resistance, at least from my perspective, of course. I think, from, well, it is. <laughs> Having it here is pretty special. This yeah. is the event space at yeah. the factory, the RST parked up on its lonesome here, yeah. right on the edge of the reception. When you buy a car like this, you don't just get the car, you get like this experience, mental yeah. experience for the years that you own the car. Because really I'm a custodian of this car, this is not gonna be my car forever. You get this experience mm. as well mm -hmm. as part of the package. You're yeah. able to come along here and be treated like Royalty. Royalty, really, <laughs> in, a, in, a, yeah, in, a, in a stunning state-of-the-art facility. Yeah. Experience all of the tech that they're working with and all of the artistic magic that they're working. Yeah. And have you get yours. to part this right here with them. <laughs> I know, it's mental. And they all love this car as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, you know, and they've even put some upgrades on this car, which we'll discuss in the future. Yeah, video. we'll save that. That's a good tease there. Yeah. But, yeah, they've been really, really good with us. Uh, thanks to the guys for showing us around because... They've yeah. Absolute gentlemen. Yeah. The stuff that we've been able to see and get up close to just everything, as we were saying, all the parts and just, we've been in heaven pretty much it's this whole a, day. It's been a crazy day. And everybody from the Von Koenigsegg family to the yeah. test drivers, Marcus, and of course, Peter from the Legends Division, yeah. and Daniel, yeah. who's taken us around the factory floor today. Really thankful for all their time yeah. and help. It's been an awesome experience. Yeah. So if you want to see more of this kind of thing, please subscribe and tune in for more videos like this. We have filmed a lot of stuff today. So. Oh yeah, there's plenty that is coming out. Yeah. We'll save the best till last when we uh, went on the runway. Yep. So yeah, stay tuned for that video. So we were just inquiring about merch and <laughs> by magic, Peter almost overheard us <laughs> and has supplied a copious amount. So thank you. And thank you for an amazing day. Oh, thank you. Amazing. Yeah, you guys have been. Yeah, yeah. Showing awesome. the place. It's been, been really, really, really good. Yeah. yeah. It's getting back to you soon as well. Oh, I'm excited to get it back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can drive like that on British roads, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it's what we want to film it. We'll <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we're yeah. right. So. We're in Mexico, as they say. Thanks once again to everybody here at the factory. It's been an amazing day, and we're. Uh, very grateful, looking forward to seeing you all again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah.